Good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday. We are officially back in the office after a wonderful long Thanksgiving weekend. Um, it was a nice mix of work and a lot of play as well. And when you work with your family every day, it's a little bit different than when you work all day together and then you guys go um, head into a dinner um, as well. So one of the rules that we have is no real estate talk at the dinner table. So we try to go by those rules and it really helps. But anyways, I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a talk about being thankful and being grateful because that is what this weekend was all about. And it was just in time, we are currently in a Mindshare challenge right now with David Greenspan. And one of the things that he's been getting us do, to do is to write down something that we are grateful every night um, before we go to bed. So that has been something that I've been practicing a lot lately and it has made a world of difference. Um, every night, I, I am a big writer. I do write a lot of handwritten cards to people that I really appreciate. And that's just been something that's been part of my life. I'm much better at writing down my feelings and my appreciation for people so if you have received a note from me just know that that is my way of showing how much i appreciate you and how grateful i am for you in my life and yeah this week i've been practicing on just writing it down for myself to kind of review every night and just to be grateful for everything that i have uh family friends my marriage um business my clients like you guys and just everything that i have is so wonderful in this life and I really did take it in this weekend to uh, truly appreciate what I do have and it's given me a new perspective on life. And yeah, so I'm ready to take on this week uh, with a whole new perspective and get this week two of the Mindshare Challenge started. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead into the office and catch up with my sisters and we'll see you guys soon. Give me one York. And of course now, the landmark Queen of Portland Center. Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. And just like every other Wednesday, it is Millionaires Club Day. But not only that, it is Millionaires Accountability Club Day. So what that means is we have set up an eight-week program for all of our agents to be held accountable, keep motivated, and just collaborate with a bunch of other like-minded agents in the office. So today is our second week of submitting our numbers just to see what everyone's been up to this week. And yeah, so I'm gonna go head on in with the crew and see what they've been doing and hopefully we've been crushing this week. And then after that, we'll be giving them some homework to focus on for week three. And yeah, if you're interested in hearing more about our Millionaires Accountability Club, feel free to reach out to us and I'd be happy to share. It's been a great success and so far our agents are doing very well and we're really impressed with uh, the results. So we'll catch up with you guys soon. See you later. <laughs> oh, clock in the lunch. Hello, we just met with Catherine, the amazing uh, cell to design. <laughs> designer? Yeah. Office designer? Office designer. Mm -hmm. We're looking for ideas to put the final touches on our office. So let us know what you think if you have any ideas for us. Mr. Boss's office. What would work. you do with this mm -hmm. space? So boring. <laughs> and then, what would you do with this space? <laughs> oh, no, your owner, right? In this space. What should we do? Oh, oh the other the last final touches, touches of the Percy Fulton office renovation. <laughs> Okay, everybody, guess where we are right now. <laughs> Literally, right here. That was my spot. <laughs> hey guys, we're just getting ready for our pre-construction training uh, with Mr. Aiden. We're also going to promote the Saint, which we have allocations for. So we're going to try to educate some of our agents on how to sell this project and how to sell pre-construction as well. Stay tuned.
what that means um, and why that's important and how to sell it. We're also going to talk about Ada's experience in selling pre-construction condos, what the process looks like, and I think more importantly, what do you say to your clients? Because we have access, we have Good morning, everybody, and happy Saturday. Uh, I'm just getting my day started. I am here in East York, Toronto, and for those of you that know me, know that I love this area. Um, I'm going to be taking out two sets of our buyer clients today, both for buyer visits. So what that means is they have already purchased homes. Um, one is in East York, and then I'll be headed over to Leslieville, but they have already purchased their homes. And so for those of you that don't know, when you purchase a home, typically you usually get about two visits before you actually get the keys to the house. So for our East York clients, we already did our first buyer visit and now we're going to be doing our second buyer visit because it closes next week. And what that entails is we're going to be testing out all the appliances, all the plumbing, electrical, and just doing a quick check just to make sure that everything is in working order so that when they do get the keys, everything is working. And if they're not working, then we have enough time to give the sellers uh, to fix anything that needs to be fixed. So we're going to go take a look inside and we'll catch up with you soon. Okay guys, so we are done with our second buyer visit there in the East York area. And now I am currently sitting in Leslieville in Toronto, another one of my personal favorite spots. Um, my client purchased a loft here, so we are actually going to be doing our first buyer visits. And the difference between usually the first buyer visit and the second buyer visit is the first one, usually a lot of our clients like to bring some of their family members, parents, um, contractors. It is a good time to kind of show everybody the new place that they just purchased. It's also a time where a lot of people like to do measurements just to see what type of furniture they want to put in here. Uh, they get a lot of inspiration on what changes they want to do or maybe no changes at all. But yeah, it's just another visit to kind of take a look at their place before they get the keys to their home. And yeah, I'm going to go check out the loft and we will catch up with you guys soon. Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. I am currently sitting in my car. Big changes. Um, I'm about to head into a condo that my client purchased here in Toronto. It is their first buyer visit, uh, just like what we were doing yesterday. So we're bringing in the fam. We're going to show off uh, what we purchased and do a couple measurements. And then we will head on to the rest of our day. So I'm going to go check in with my clients. And maybe I'll take you guys for a little bit of a tour of his condo purchase. Talk to you guys soon.